Hello, this is SoCom Glitchmaster, and I had a few complaints that some of my videos for the internet browser, um, there was an error when you tried to load the component that you needed. So right now I'm going to teach you how to fix that error and be able to do one. So this is what you got to do. This is the error that most people are getting. Um, it's probably the one that you're getting if you're watching this video. When you go to add the component, the Microsoft Internet Controls, it says cannot fi find all that, and then IE frame one, I um, dot, dot DLL slash one. Now, that's the error. It's looking for a file called IE frame dot DLL. I mean, a folder with the file just called one inside. So this is what we're gonna do. We are gonna go on Windows XP to my computer. And then we're going to go to local to see. And then look for Windows. And then look for System 32. And inside the System 32 folder, there should be a file called ieframe.dll <laughs> just hit ie on your keyboard and it should bring you to it uh, ieframe.dll right here um, so we're, you're gonna hit control c and copy it and then you're gonna rename it to ieframe2.dll if it's if it's saying that there's an error that you can't redo it because some personal program is using it, then exit your Internet Explorer, exit AIM, MSN, Skype, anything like that, um, and rename it to ieframe2.dll, and then make a new folder called ieframe.dll, like this, go into it and paste the IE frame into there and then rename it to just the number one like this fo file right here and then um, it should just be called one and the file picture should look something like that um, and then if you go to your project and load Microsoft Internet controls and hit apply it should load and you should get this and then you still have to do one more thing you gotta go back and go to your folder called ieframe.dll rename it to ieframe 5 or 3 or 1 or something, whatever. Dot DLL, and then rename your IE frame two back to IE frame, or else you'll get a, a, a different error. Um, and then now you can do it right. Uh, you have to do that every time you want to use in Microsoft Internet Controls. Every time you open up a project that has a w internet browser and stuff like that. So that's basically how to fix that problem and tell me if you have any other problems with anything else and I'll try to make a video to help you and that's it. Goodbye.